Hello, I'm Matt. <laughs> this is gonna go great. What? We've done a minute and this is great. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Lucas. And welcome to MT Makeovers. Oh. Magic, magic title, magic, magic, magic. You'll hate yourself later, Matt, because you wanted to do this. <gasps> the premise of this random thing in a bedroom in Wilson Green is that we, we've done a lot of makeup and shit mm. before. Yeah. We do a lot of that. We've done drag together with awful eyebrows on me oh, most of the time. Eyebrows. I found photos <laughs> the other day. We'll bring up the slug eyebrows just here. <laughs> and that that's basically... I found some of mine that are actually horrendous. Oh, don't no, okay. I've just given up on drawing on my eyebrows. Now, but no. no. It's disgusting. Some of those photos mm. are just hideous. And we and thought you were the shit as well. We were like, oh my god, we're everything. <laughs> and we look at them and we're like, oh, there's slugs on our foreheads. Great. Right. And then it's like, there's the one that we were like, oh my god, we look amazing. And all there is is just these. <laughs> it's about like that big. Yeah. And it's, it was the middle of summer, so it's like slightly sweaty as well. It's horrible. It was be, it was it was a it was a mood. It no, was, an it was mood. a definite mood. Yeah. I cinched myself then. I could cinch myself, and no, you cinched me with duct tape. That was that. Oh my god! I'm not experienced. We were ratchet as hell. <laughs> Today, um, we're going to be doing a makeover on me. Yes. Magic. What is it going to be, Lucas? I'm going to be making over Matt as. Angel Jumanshunard from the musical Rent, which is a part that I've played and am um, a goddess at, obviously. Apparently. Shh. No, I don't, because I'm so scared. I haven't, done, I have not done makeup in so long. This... I literally, I think the last time I did proper makeup was Pride. When I when I performed at Pride, that's in Pride this year. Just, just saying. He's available for booking. <laughs> In any capacity, to be fair. He's a student at drama school. Yeah, any, any, any form of money. Do anything. For anything. <laughs> so that is, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do today. Um, so you get to know that face. And then in weeks come, we've got some challenges and all that shenanigans going on. And the sun's getting really bright. So hopefully it, it makes me look more pretty. You've dissolved. I'm literally shabby. dissolved. I'm just <laughs> into not the into the background. It's because I've got such a red nose. It's like, oh, let's just... Let's just fade away from him and focus on the bright twink over here. <laughs> you call me a twink? Yeah. That's so much self confidence. Thank you. Okay, this is just a spray on like primer just because it's a little bit easier. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's not used to having things sprayed on his face. Thank um, you. <laughs> so much of this is going to be edited out. You can buy the hex. <laughs> so much of this is just going to be like, just for us. <laughs> just watching it like, why did we say that on camera? Oh, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> So we're making the face all one colour, because it's easier to work with. There we go. Yeah. Magic. This might be my shade. We don't know yet. We will soon find, we'll out. find out. So, um, oh, we... Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's your shade. We've both done Ren. We have. Both Not at the same time. No. We both did Ren, but I did it back in Undisclosed Year, and you did it a couple <laughs> of years ago. <laughs> yeah, I did. I uh, was very lucky to... Um, it came at the right time mm. as well, because I just auditioned for drama school for the first time um, and hadn't, hadn't, I mean obviously I didn't audition for the right school at the time and didn't get in, I thought what am I going to do, I'm stuck for a year, didn't know what to do and then very luckily was offered a part in Rent and it kind of repurposed why I wanted to do musical theatre which was really really good. Yes because for some context you're now doing um Musical theatre. I am. I'm at doing Erdang. musical theatre and professional dance a BA at Erdang Academy, which is fantastic. Mm. In first year. Yes. I'm second year performance arts student because I don't dance or move <laughs> or sing. I tell people what to do and get paid money for it sometimes. He really knows. I was mad. I wanted to be Angel, badly. I was told not to audition for Angel. Why? I don't know, I can't fully remember. I disagreed at the time, but part of me was like, no, I'd quite like to be Mark. To be fair, I can see you as, I can see you being a good Mark. And all I play well. is slightly gay Jews. That's all I play. <laughs> and all I play, I play. That's way too accurate. The, the shows we've done together, you've just played gay Jews as well. Rod, Posner in the History Boys. Mark is questionably gay, bisexual, one of the two. Yeah. Something. Um, what was uh, the one? Uh, Hans? Uh, no. Hanshin. <laughs> no, Hanshin's just 
Hanshin's just... He's just full-blown homosexual. He's just full-blown homosexual. But he's not Hans, because Hans is in Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to play Hans. Oh. Hey, we both have loved drag for quite a while. Yeah. You've done more femme drag I've than done, I yeah. have. I've done more kind of... I want to say realistic. Yeah. Not realistic. But like fish. Fish. Yeah. Fish drag. An angel is certainly fish drag. Yes. And I try... Uh, well, yeah. I think... Well, I think as well, like, I, I wanted to bring a more of a modern interpretation to mm. Angel because I remember, like, the first Angel was wearing red and, like, zebra, zebra print leggings and had blue mm. eyeshadow and looked kind of... I don't know, I want to say clownish, mm. almost. And It's because it's a quick makeup turnaround as well. It is. It, oh, yeah, definitely. And How long? About 10 minutes or so? 10, 15... No. How did you, when you played Angel, yeah. how did you go about that? I did a very, very basic eye look, kind of sort of brown uh, mm. thing and thick ass eyeliner. And then just added a bit, of, a tiny bit of blush and then just red lips. Mm. Um, I wanted the transformation more to be with my body as well. Mm. Yeah. So I wore like, I wore like a turtleneck and black skinny jeans and basically covered up my body and wore like a hat and everything. And then when I did come out as Angel, I uh, came out literally, I'm gonna think next to nothing. I'm like, I was wearing like a very mini skirt and I was wearing a thong leotard so my arse was out. Sorry, Mum. Uh, and I quite liked that. It was kind of, because it was, the original Angel was kind of a bit of a slap in the face to straight men and I was slapping my arse in front of straight men, so. Progression. A whole level of confusion to the yeah. world. Oh, she ain't shaved. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> That's a whole other story. Just these little things. <laughs> fucking hate them. <laughs> I hate. Oh, don't. Just don't. Baking. Mama, it's amazing. We're baking. Again. Nope, it's not over there, bastard. Right, one minute. <laughs> Tell the children what you're doing, Lucas. Uh, I am baking and setting uh, Matt's. Angel's face, because in a performance where you're death dropping, kicking, splitting all over the place, you don't want to sweat off your makeup because then Angel would look busted. But there will be no death dropping in this rendition. <laughs> the makeup is partly due to a traumatic injury in my first year. And now we move on to everyone's favourite part: contouring. Imagine the cheapest makeup possible. No, Angel was pretty, pretty important for my development as a performer. Yeah, I really. Nope. <laughs> That'll do. Pretty sure this is yours. I think it is. Yeah, I think I left it at New Year's, and I was like, <laughs> we steal a lot of each other's stuff. We really do. Yeah, whenever we do this, we always go home with a few things missing and a few. few. <laughs> Get some new concealer, cause she's dying. Oh, my eyes look really blue. And now we move on to eyebrows, which may or may not work. Our favourite part. Yeah. Considering your eyes are, I mean, your not your eyes, your hair's blonde at the minute. This is a brown. Oh no, she's stunning. Right. Just need to fill them in a little bit, cause we've got slightly lost in the foundation. I'm gonna get this again. I'm gonna say, I need one of these. L'Oreal Palace. Micro? Micro? Micro, doll. Micro. <laughs> Can you tell why I do musical theatre? It's good, I'm stupid and illiterate. Um, anyway, Angel, rent. Uh, ask me something else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move on to eyes, I think. What's a primer? Primer basically. It kind of prepares your mm. face for makeup. So primer, primer basically keeps things on. Uh, eyelids are a bit more specific as opposed to the entire face, which is why we have two different primers. 
Um, this one basically will help make the colour a bit more vibrant and will make you look more stunning. Which, exactly. Sounds like you're about to shoot me. How did you know? I'm interested about this because I really, when I was thinking about doing Ren, mm. when I initially had the first interest in it, I was going to audition for Mark as well mm. because, but then I was also, when I watched uh, my friend Benito, amazing Benito, uh, he's 15, good luck mate, uh, when I watched him uh, playing the part, I was like, how do you play a part like that? Because he's, he's somehow involved in every single relationship, it's hard. but he's almost the narrator and it's like... There's a lot with Mark. It's, it's a great part. Yeah, I, it's oh, one of my favourites I've played because it was just hard. You're, it's a constant. Um, and I like a part where you kind of do pretty much everything. Mm. I love that. Um, yeah, you like to make yourself super pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's certainly nice. It was a good challenge. And to be fair, you run off the adrenaline of it. I think that's what gets you through. And the emotion. Also, Mark doesn't have two major emotional attachments. See, I think he loves everyone. He so the emotional attachment is relatively level, mm. as opposed to like an intense relationship, which makes it, which makes I think is more draining than having to just you know do everything you do. Definitely. It was such a long time ago though, about mm. five years this year, yeah. which is strange. So the look I'm doing on Matt is not the look I did for my show because I wanted to... I'm, so the look I'm doing on Matt is actually what I did for the photo shoot because mm. unfortunately I couldn't recreate this look in, in the time I had for the show because I have such a, a, a short turn between boy and girl. Mm. Like I meet, I meet Collins, I take him off to fix his leg and then I come back and you know, kick my face off doing today for you. Hi, Jones. Thank you. I do miss Angel. She mm. was a fun gal, and I'd give anything to do her again. Mm. Be her again. I to be fair, it's a part I wish I'd gone for. I love, and I wish I. I think now knowing as much as I do about drag, because Drag Race really came about around the time the show was. We did the show, so if I had my time again, yeah, I would. I'd probably auditioned for Angel because I think I would have had more of an attachment to her at that time. Almost. Oh, I have a bit more sparkle, a bit more defini definition. <sighs> See, I remember once I was doing makeup and I was like, I need to clean my brushes back on my eye, and my leg was just covered in different patches mm. of eyeshadow that I'd just been like, for God's sake. So it's a bit more interest and colour. And a bit more shiny stuff, could be all like a bit of shine. Sparkle, 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 and fuck me, that pigment is stunning. What I like to do as well with my shadow is I like to wing it out slightly. So, here, I just wing out the, especially the dark, if it's quite dark as well, it kind of works to elongate the eyes, especially if the eyes are quite round, and you want to give a kind of a bit more of a fierce, kind of like sultry look. I kind of wing it out to make it look better to keep people in doubt because Lord help me. I'm surprised this is going as well as it did. I'm as proud. It has. I'm quite excited to see. It's been a very long time since I've been in my femme drag. Mm. And you've never painted me before. Actually. I haven't. No. no. I, I very rarely paint people mm. because it's it's a skill that mm. I I'm not familiar with mm. at the current moment. I'm not. I'm getting there. Eyeliner. <laughs> Pray for us. The problem with doing that on our own boys is we have a constant problem with blinking. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stand still. What's that? Yes, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Cool. Whew. And now, can we just stop on one eye because it's going to work so well? <laughs> and so, currently one eye, fabulous, the other not. We're going to skip that little bit of recording and go like this. Ba -ba. Beam, beam, beam. Oh, you look cute. For once. If any other. Final thing. You've complimented me, that's <laughs> a shame. I compliment you, shut up. Mm -hmm. 
Oi! <laughs> I, uh, I haven't talked to so my friend, So a lot of my friends at home said that I'd be a really, really good Jamie. Mm. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then I always listen to the show and I remind myself that I could never play that part. Because vocally, it really doesn't suit me. Mm. <laughs> and it's because my falsetto is really, like, my belt's really strong, but my falsetto is not. Mm. And so I was singing it to my friend and she's dying because I was literally going, and I'm not in first. Like, it was just <laughs> two polar opposites. <laughs> to be fair, that's such a character part that I think you can get away with anything with the voice. Sure. <laughs> and I'm right I can't wait first. to see Leighton Williams. Do you want to go? I, want re- to I really want to go. I keep entering the lottery because <laughs> I'm too cheap. I just need a bit of cleaning up, but yeah, you're almost done. <laughs> um, no, I'm so excited, Blake and Williams. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Really can't wait. Yeah. Right, just need to get my wig sorted. Because it's about to fly off her head. And it's time to transform and dress into the fabulousness of Angel. Wow. <gasps> this makeup trick just turns into Matt and Lucy's <laughs> Argument with a chair. Man and Lucas, in this week's episode, Man and Lucas use an IKEA chair. Yeah, that's slower. <laughs> okay. I have a horrible feeling this won't fit. No, it'll be fine. Figure it out. It'll be short. Figure it out. <laughs> right. Bam. 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 So I was not trying, I was like, <laughs> just stretching in the back. <laughs> But wow. here's Angel slash Snow White, but here's more Angel. Bam! So this is, this is what I'd imagine Angel more to be on her, like her day-to-day, mm. kind of, when she's out of the house. Full sparkle. I just love the leggings. Can someone please sponsor us that does leggings? Or wear leggings? Fucking love it. I like that. Bam! 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 I don't know. I can't do death drop. I'm on season <laughs> six. <laughs> That's good. Sickening. So, um, we hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what you thought. Don't forget to give us a like and give us a cheeky subscribe as well. That'd be wonderful. What are we doing next? Join us next time for. What are we doing next? You've got lipstick on your nose. How have you done that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what are we doing next? A miracle. Join us next week where we'll be seeing who can get into cats costumes the quickest. You can say it better than me. So from Angel. And. Angel maker. Oh, I'm just gonna see you later. Bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> this is a beautiful day. Boom. This week, um, as opposed to last week, where you make me over, mm-hmm. we're gonna have a little challenge. Ooh, dumb dramatic scenario. Correct. We're gonna see. We're gonna give ourselves 15 minutes to get into full cat's makeup.